guys. Good morning and welcome to Monroe, Michigan. This is where we're going to be dropping off our cassette roll here in the next couple minutes. So what our plan is for today, we got a little bit of a busy first half of the day and then we can calm down. Um, we're going to drop this off and then we're going to shoot about 10, 15 minutes over to the next town of Dundee, Michigan. We're going to pick up a, I think it's like two pallets of machinery parts, really light. Take that down to Mansfield, Ohio. And then we're going to shoot over to Marion, Ohio and pick up a load that's going out to Fort Wayne. So we kind of have to do a little bit of a rush because I got to be at the uh, the Fort Wayne load. I got to pick up by no later than 2 o'clock and I should be able to do that without any problems. But obviously we don't need things slowing me down. That puts me late for that. The good news is the load for Fort Wayne it's only 20 feet long, so if these are standard pallets, I could easily just, like if something goes wrong, I could go and pick up that load and then deliver the pallets. Kind of do that backwards. That says no trucks. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> This is how I need to figure out this place. I was expecting that I could keep going down on this road and make a left on the next state route. But instead, it's sending me down a road that I don't think takes trucks. So you guys get to explore with me. Uh, GPS wants us to go down West Front Street. And I don't think that's a truck route. This road makes more sense to be a truck route, but yet right in front of us is a sign that says, no. So, can I make a right down here? It's a one-way street. Is there any signs that say no? says no. To get to Dundee, we basically go down this road that we're on, just keep going straight, and you go down there for about 10 15 minutes, and then you run into Dundee. And then from Dundee, I believe it's a two hour drive to Mansfield, two ish hours, and then from Mansfield to Marion, about 40, 30, 40 minutes, if I remember right.
time. Our unload with the cassette roll went super fast. It was in and out in under a half hour, which means they know what they're doing over there. I've, I've had deliveries where I would take those and no one knows what's up, how to unload it, because they don't have the right type of equipment. And next thing you know, you've been there for two hours. So this went much quicker, which is good, because obviously I need to stay on top of my time. So hopefully this load will go fast as well. I mean, it's just two pallets. So unless I get there and they say, oh, it ain't even ready yet, then uh, we might have a little bit of an issue. But so far we're making good time. It is 8.30 at the moment. I'm assuming I'll be out of here by two, nine, say nine. Ypsilanti Street. quick remember how i said it shouldn't take too long <laughs> it took a while they found an issue with the casting and had to fix it real quick so it's been about a little over an hour but there it is these are just my moving blankets over it they said that they wanted to be tarp but it's not super important i guess here's a look of what it is so this one at least keep it dry i actually think i might do one more bungee around this part so let me do that real quick We got us a bunch of uh, scaffolding equipment and whatnot. So to give you an idea, this rack being held by this strap and technically this one, which is pulling down. This, I hate that long beam that's up there that's just being balanced by these, but it is what it is. I got three straps going over that. Two of these little ones, that one's vibrating a bunch. I might tighten that. Two of these little ones are pulling this way. This one is pulling that way. So hopefully you shouldn't walk around up there. I think I got this stack here. It's being held by these two straps. Uh, there's stuff on the other side, obviously. This one here, like I said, let me do this. I might have forgot to tighten this one down. That's it. I think it jumped the two. That's what happened. Yeah. Some of these ratchet straps are um, getting a little old gotta make sure they actually lock because it might do what just happened here and it jumped the tooth and loosened itself back up. I'm not on a road or anything so I'm not like I'm gonna get hit by a car. Private drive. 
hurts without gloves. Anyway, so yeah, that's holding that. We got another one on this one. Two of these holding up wherever this stuff is. This pallet's falling apart, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on some of this because that pallet might start to break and these will get loose. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't, but I put in this piece of wood here because there's nothing on this side. So all these straps are pulling this end down, which is putting a lot of pressure on that. But again, I'll watch it. A lot of this stuff is gonna wanna shift around. So I'm gonna have to pull off every now and again, check straps, make sure all is well. And that should be it. So this is going to Fort Wayne. So uh, truck is sort of staying clean, starting to get a little dusty and dirty, but still looking good. So let's get to Fort Wayne. The next day. All right. Good morning. We're leaving our delivery here um, out here in uh, Fort Wayne. We just dropped off our uh, concrete forms and stuff like that. And we are now heading over to Silver Lake, Indiana. Pick up a load that's going out to Corbin, Kentucky. And that will probably deliver first thing in the morning tomorrow. And then from there, we are going to head directly over to Matt's, the America Truck Show. So that's the deal there. Just figured I'd give you the heads up. We got about an hour drive over to Silver Lake. And then about a six hour drive over to Corbin. That's the update. I will talk to you then. All right, real quick. We're at the Kentucky uh, Welcome Center rest area off of 75. So, I wanted to show you real quick. This was our load. Bunch of skip bins, I believe is what they're called. 8,000 pounds worth of them. Nothing crazy. Two straps. And they're riding pretty good. So anyways, I want to keep this ending here short. I'm going to call it quits. Or at least quits on this video. I'm going to drive another half hour just outside of Lexington, stop at the Loves, park there for tonight. It's going on three. And um, I'll edit this video, get it up for you guys tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll deliver these bins and then head on over to the Mid America Truck Show. So I'll definitely try to get some content over there for the people that can't go. They can see what it's all about. This will be my first time there, so I'm curious to see what it's all about. And uh, kind of go from there. One of the things I'm looking to do while there is inquire about just to various vendors and manufacturers I'm sure will be there inquire about some stuff about the truck here in the future I know I hinted in the past that I would talk about what I'm gonna do with this thing and I have not done that yet I still plan to I'm just making sure everything is indeed doable before I just start saying that that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> so basically there's big plans but I'm going to use this opportunity to track down any vendors that could help me in my plans and see if everything will work. So that's kind of the plan, but I'll bring you guys along for as much as I can. And yeah, but for now, I'm getting tired. I uh, did a lot of driving today and I'm just ready to be done. So I'm going to do the last half hour over to Love's, call it quits and relax. So I will talk to you guys. And Mid America.